Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I want to show you the top 5 free applications I use in my business almost every day. So we're going to open up Firefox web browser and the first application that I use pretty much every day in my business is Thunderbird email client. So this is a lot like Outlook or MacMail. It's a free piece of software you can download. You can click on the free download here and it will after you've installed the software you'll be able to install all of your email accounts uh, and manage all of your different email accounts from one location on one application on your computer so I use this pretty much every single day it really works well for me if you're not sure how to use this software after you've installed it you can head over to my YouTube channel so just search for DCP web designers in YouTube click on the black logo and then click on playlists here and down here you're going to find the uh, Thunderbird tutorials I'll be adding links to all of these software applications and where the tutorials are um, in the YouTube description the next software application I use every day is OpenOffice which is equivalent of Microsoft Office but again it's free to download so you can head over to openoffice.org I'll put a link in the YouTube description. You can download this software. And again, if you're not sure about how to use OpenOffice, you can head over to my YouTube channel. And I've got 16 tutorials here on different techniques and different applications within OpenOffice. So do have a look at these tutorials and they'll help you a lot to understand how to use OpenOffice. Third application, which I use quite often, but not necessarily every day, but I think this software is absolutely awesome, is Blender. It's 3D animation software. It's pretty high-end stuff, but at the same time, you can do some basic animations. If you're watching my YouTube videos at the beginning, you'll see an intro, and that intro I created myself using Blender. So do give this software a try. And again, if you're not sure how to use it or you need some help, you can head over to my YouTube channel and you'll find a Blender 3D animation tutorial here. So this is some... Um, free software you can download and you can install it and then follow this tutorial just to give you a bit of an understanding of how to use Blender. The next application is GIMP. It's an image manipulation program. It's a lot like Photoshop. I would say it's not as advanced as Photoshop but it does a very very good job of doing all of the common stuff that you would want to do to image editing and manipulation. It's free to download. It works very well. It's very stable. Um, so definitely this is something I use on a regular basis and again if you need some help in understanding how to use GIMP you can head over to my YouTube channel and you'll find uh, some GIMP tutorials in here somewhere here they are here so do give that a try and the last one which is not software you download but I do a lot of uh, web development work and compress jpeg.com is a really good piece of software it's online and it allows you to compress images quite quickly for when you're adding them to your website so compressing images for your website is very important and if you're not sure how to use this software you can head over to my youtube channel click on videos and here you can see image compression tutorial I'll add that into the youtube description as well so those are my top five software applications that I use, which are free, and I use them almost every day in my business. And I hope you find these applications useful as well. So I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP Web tutorial.